Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. So I'm here back at Cyber Rock Studio, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own horror game part 7. So let's get into the video. So if you go down to our maze, and over by the exit door, you can see I have this keypad. You can see it's called keypad, it's a model inside of it. We have a base part, which is just this grey part. Then we have a screen part, where it has a screen inside of it. We have a surface GUI and a text label. Then we have a model called buttons inside of it. We have button 1, button 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 9. And then we have a clear button and an enter button. So we can actually clear the code and enter the code. Okay, so once we have our model, if you go over here, then if you add in a part, make sure it's anchored. And if you just drag it over here, so if you hide it, then just rename this part, do something like maze, door, trigger, like that. If you drag this trigger inside the triggers folder, let's just put it inside the dialog triggers, like that. Now if we go back inside the maze, click the keypad, go to the buttons model, click plus, add in a script, and type in local input label equals to script dot parent dot parent dot screen part dot surface GUI dot text label like that. Go down and type in local enter button equals to script dot parent dot enter button then if you go down and do the same for a clear button so local clear button equals to script dot parent dot clear button like that once again go down and type in local trigger equals to game dot workspace dot triggers dot dialog triggers dot maze door trigger like that go down twice and type in local input equals to and then two speech marks go down and type in local correct code equals to two speech marks and then your code so I'm just going to be doing one two three four like that go down twice and type in function enter code and two brackets if you go down a new end should appear then if you type in if input equals equals to correct code then go down and a new end should appear if you do input label dot text equals to two speech marks and then correct code like that go down and type in trigger colon destroy two brackets like that and then on this first end which is here go in front of it and type in return like that underneath this we could go down and type in input label dot text equals to then incorrect code like that once again input equals to and then two empty speech marks like that and then underneath this end we can type in enter button dot click detector dot mouse click colon connect and then enter code like that also make sure all your buttons have a click detector in it like this in each one now if you go down and type in function clear code two brackets once again a new end should appear so if you type in input equals to two empty speech marks go down then input label dot text equals to then two empty speech marks like that underneath this end we can type in clear button dot click detector dot mouse click colon connect two brackets 
and then clear code like that. Now what we need to do is go down and type in script.parent dot button one dot click detector dot mouse click colon connect two brackets function and then go down so if you type in input equals to input dot dot one like that go down and type in input label dot text equals to and then input if you just copy paste this go down paste it and change button one to two and change input dot dot one to two like that do the same for all your other keys so i'll just skip ahead until i've done them for each button okay so once you've done that you can see here i've just changed all the numbers so this should be our script done if you close it off and then go to our main game script so serve script service main game script and then scroll down to the bottom so if you type in repeat wait two brackets until game dot workspace dot triggers dot dialog triggers colon find first child brackets and speech marks and then maze door trigger outside brackets type in equals equals to nil so once we've done that we could go down and type in teleport two brackets and then what we need to do is if you just go back inside the game so now what we need to do is make a teleport to our new area so if you go to the new building which is over here add in a part make sure it's anchored let's just change size lift it above the air like that so it's floating make sure transparency is set to one make sure can collide is off and then let's name it to maze exit teleport like that drag it inside the teleport points and now if we head back inside our main game script and type in game dot workspace dot teleport points dot maze exit teleport dot c frame and above that we need to just go up and type in transition event fire all clients two brackets then in between the two lines we can add in a wait two seconds like that and now let me just quickly add some more dialogue here we go so i've just added in some more dialogue so if you just quickly test out the code door okay so once we're at the door if you enter the code you can see if the code works and we can also clear it like that click enter and it fades to black it teleports us and now we're inside the new room like this and the dialogue plays so we've clicked stop and now what i'm going to be doing is making a quick puzzle you can see i have this wall with a hole in it and this is a model called rotate puzzle inside of it is just a few walls so what we need to do is add in a part put it on the wall make sure it's anchored and, let, and then let's just scale it so this is just going to be a background for the puzzle like this if you name this to just like background like that once we have that we can add in another part we can place it on the background make sure it's anchored and now we can scale it like this i'm just going to be changing the material to neon like that then if you name this part to point one duplicate it name this to point two once again duplicate it again drag it up name this to point three and then if you do one more and name this to point four if you select these and group it name them to points 
and drag these inside the rotate puzzle model. And now, let's just duplicate one of these points and scale it just so it fits in between each point, like that. Let's change colour to black. Change the size so it's a bit thinner, like that. And then just drag this point back inside the rotate puzzle. So now it's not inside the points folder. If we name this part to line one, duplicate this line and rotate it. Then let's drag it in between these ones so it fits. Name this to line two. Once again, duplicate it, rotate it, and then fit it in between two points and name it to line three. If you want, you can add more lines and points to your puzzle. Now, if you rotate them, so it's random like this. So now you can see the lines don't match up between points. Now, inside of each line, click it, click plus, and add in a click detector. Do the same for line two. Now the same for line three like that. Now select each line, group them and name this model to lines inside of the main model which is the rotate puzzle model. Click it, click plus and add in a number value. So make sure it's a number value. Name this to lines done like that and make sure the value is set to zero. Once again click the rotate puzzle click plus, add in a script and type in local lines done equals to script.parent dot lines done. Go down twice and type in repeat wait two brackets until lines done dot value equals equals to three then go down and then in a minute we can add more to the script so we've just closed off for now. Name the script to main script. And then open up the lines model again. Click line one, click plus, add in a script and type in local lines done equals to script.parent.parent.parent.lines done. Go down twice type in script.parent dot click detector dot mouse click colon connect two brackets and then function two more brackets and then go down and new end should appear a bracket then if you go down and type in script dot parent dot orientation plus equals to vector three dot new two brackets and then do zero comma zero comma and then let's do 22.5 like that go down twice and type in if script dot parent dot orientation dot z or z equals equals to and then zero or script dot parent dot orientation dot z equals equals to 180 then go down a new entry to appear and type in lines done dot value equals to lines done dot value plus one then go down and type in script dot parent dot brick color equals to brick color dot new that's zero comma 255 comma zero. This makes the color green. If you go down and type in script dot disabled equals to true. So if we close off script, copy the script, paste it into line two, go inside the script and change zero to 90 and then change 180 to minus 90 like that. Once again, go to line three paste in the script 
and then this should be the same. Okay, so I've done the rotation wrong. So if we just click stop, go back into our scripts and change Z or Z to X as well as on this one. Do the same for line 2. So change this to X and then the same on line 3. Like that. Before we carry on, what we need to do is add in a part, drag it in this little hole, and then rescale it. Let's customize it, like change the material. Like this. Drag the door inside the rotate puzzle. Go inside the main script. And then type in script.parent.door colon destroy two brackets like that now if we close off once again if we go back inside the line script i forgot to change this one so where it says 22.5 change that to zero and then change the first one to 22.5 like this so just make sure 22.5 is on the first one depending on which way your part is. Do the same to line 2, like that. Then the same for line 3. Now, if you test it one more time. Okay, so once load in, go to the parts and click it. You can see it spins, and when it matches up, it turns green. Now you can see we can't click it more than once, because it's already done. We click this one. It does the same, it turns green. And the same for this one, like that. And once we're alright, then the door opens. So in the next part, we can add in a key or something behind this door. So guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If this video helped, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. In the description you can check my Roblox group and Discord server. And I'll see you later. Bye!